Welcome to our new home. This is a baby Airstream, house. our baby house. <laughs> it's a Flying Cloud 30FB bunk, and we can't wait to show you around. <laughs> we just picked it up from the dealership, and so we have not made this home yet. We are getting ready to take off in a few months, so I think we should start in the back. There were a few things about this model that we really loved. One thing was that there would be a bed for everyone. Hey monkeys. This is a queen bed down here. How do you get up there? Right there, right there, mommy, right there. What do you put right there? Step. Oh, it's a step. Nice. But the fun thing is this came with bedding and it's really soft and nice. I'll probably end up replacing it though because we want to make this feel like our full-time home. Oh my gosh, Davey's going to be doing things. We got to make this home, you know, got to break it in. But there's lots of hidden storage everywhere, which is really cool. Down here is storage and it came with a lot of bins in it oh, wow. and they go pretty far back there. So I think that's going to be fun to see what we actually can fit in here. <gasps> oh, nice scout. All the reading lights have little push buttons and the kids have been loving that. We're going to take this TV out and put some bookshelves in here. I think we'll have plenty of room down here for story time and to hang out together. That's a good plan. These are blackout curtains in here, so it's supposed to get pretty dark in here. For nighttime, I think we'll just set up a sound machine for everyone. <laughs> and this closes off and has a little privacy for the kids and also so we can still be up while the kids are resting. Over here we have the bathroom and this is something we knew that was going to be a problem with this model is that this door does not open very far. We need some lights. I'm in the shower right now. We're all hopping in here, the whole fam. Inside here, here's storage. So I actually think this is enough. I was gonna get some adhesive like stick-on containers for shampoo and conditioners, but this is pretty deep. We ordered a teak bath mat to kind of add some color in here. And it's cool, there's a clothes drying line in here that connects over here. So Jake, how tall are you? Five foot 10. Five ten. Yeah. And then there's, I mean, yeah. I love, okay, I love all these blinds. They make them just really easy. Wow, there's two. Wow, there is two. Here. Yep, that's where we go potty. And then when you're done, we're gonna have a little trash can and you put your toilet paper in the trash. Yes. And write your and put in trash. Good job, just like that. Similar to a boat where you have to drop the water in and then flush it all down, so that's kind of cool. I want to put some shelving and stuff on here. Big mirror right here. Hey! With having this rounded surface, this is going to be a little bit to navigate. Lots of storage under here. Once again, like that doesn't open all the way, but I think we'll do good getting stuff in there. This is where your toilet paper goes. And I was thinking I wanted to put a towel rack here of some sorts where we could have rolled up towels. Let's check out the rest. Hi guys. Hi. You know, it's fun seeing everyone in here. <laughs> you cuties. This area will be the pantry. And once again, we're gonna need to be working with those rounded corners, but I do think there's surprisingly quite enough storage. This is a convection oven microwave combo. I tried a quarter sheet pan in here and it fit. I'm hoping we can still make cookies and bake and do all of those things. For the oven, there are three burners and it runs off of propane and has a hood and everything to let the air out. And if you need extra air to go out, you can turn on these fans that will suck up the air. And there's also something similar in the bathroom right there. This opens up, so if it gets a little stinky, you know, let that open. <laughs> Your favorite baby home. Lots of storage on the top. I was trying out some of it. I got this cute tea kettle and I didn't realize how huge it was, but I think we'll actually have enough to have 
some of those amenities that we are used to having. We are going from a 35,000 square foot home to, I don't even know how this is it, square footage this is. A 30 foot trailer. This is a multi-purpose cutting board. It also works for the sink. That will be really great. And I actually think this is gonna be quite enough counter space. Underneath here is trash and we already started using it. We need to get some trash bags. But I love that even if, though this is a full shelf, they still make sure that you can have space to put things. Here's the fridge, but it runs off of electric and we have solar on this unit. So when we're driving, we should have enough electricity being pulled from the solar to charge the batteries and at least keep the refrigerator running. This is the freezer up here. And I actually think it's a pretty good size freezer. It's obviously not a residential size. I think it will be sufficient for our needs. I hope we can still do Walmart delivery. That's my favorite. <laughs> this is how you do the AC. There's two AC units in this, which is super awesome. You please have it in your and, and a table and a bed. You want the table to be a bed? Is that possible? Yeah. It is? Okay, I think we should try it. Okay. I can see us watching a lot of movies here. Yeah. Underneath this couch, there's storage. I think we'll probably put books and probably more kids stuff in here. Our actual long-term goal is we want to live on a sailboat. <laughs> Right now the market is not super great. What could we do in the meantime of still living more of a nomadic lifestyle? And after checking out tons of different RVs, we decided an Airstream felt like the best fit for us and our family. And this is the master bedroom, which... Can we turn the lights on in there? Yes. Okay, we'll have to go get a cup. And, and this is also going to be our office. Yeah, this is where I'm going to be working with headphones and my laptop. He works remotely, full time. We're going to try to take this TV down and put up a computer monitor. Potentially, if it can fit, it might be a little bit big, but we'll see. We have some storage up here. This is probably where we'll put like underwear and all of that stuff. Speakers up here and the lights. For clothes, we're gonna need to put underneath the bed. I need two hands. I'm gonna lift up the bed. Underneath the bed is storage, but one thing I appreciate is they made cutouts on the sides so you can hopefully grab your stuff a lot easier. I'm gonna be putting dog food down here and then I'll have baskets that we have our clothes. We really have downsized over the years. We had our closet, our closet wasn't big enough so we made two additional bedrooms for closets. I think we'll be able to make it work. It's definitely gonna be a transition. There's nightstands so we can put our stuff in there. There's also hidden little storage spots like on the side of the bed. The real question is, do you think you, me, and Zeke are all gonna fit on here? Yes. It's gonna be a cozy. All of these windows are super cool. They have Velcro on them, which makes them easy to use. And they're on these sliders. And you can also snap them to make sure that it can be blacked out at nighttime. On the exterior, there's lots of fun details and there are lots of just hidden storage compartments. But it's nice because there's also lights in here. But everywhere, they just put lots of storage. This opens up, but, whoo, hot. We're gonna have to figure something about that heat. Goodness, we've got a lot to learn. We have never owned an RV before. This is our very, very first time, but we were learning all about the black tank and the gray water and all of that. There's electric plug-ins out here. This was fresh water in case you don't have access to city water. 
There's an outdoor shower out here to rinse off feet if you're playing at the beach and stuff. This is how you hook up to your shore power. This does have a heater. You can feel air coming out of here to make sure it's working. All of these awnings pop out and it looks really, really cute. Over here, you got your propane tanks. Let's open it up. We got two batteries in here. We'll probably end up getting a lot more. It's obviously not the easiest to get to, but it's doable. That's the shore power over there. Well, we're sure excited to make this place our home. We're excited to try a new lifestyle and have some fun as a family. If you want to follow along on our adventures, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Hope you have a wonderful day.